My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Tom Ford Mandarino di Amalfi Air de Parfum. We had a look at the coast of Amalfi Coast and this colour looks like the sea and the sky. And so that's sort of what I'm going to be uh, transported to, I hope. But anyway, when you get this and then they flick up all this buy now and all that stuff. This is 254 pounds for 100 mil. Mandarino di Amalfi captures the fresh Italianate spirit of the Amalfi Coast. Citrus fruits waft their aromas, tonic-like through a breeze filled with basil, spearmint and jasmine. I love spearmint. And the textured effervescent scent is perfect for the luxurious Tom Ford woman. Oh, I see. The no style notes. Doesn't say. Do we have our bottles of Mandarin de Amalfi? Are we engaged with a high self? Let's get testing. I'm surprised it said woman. Yeah, I tried these before uh, I did the reviews and I quite liked it. I really like this. I'm surprised it said woman, actually. I don't consider this female at all. I consider this like just a citrus and I think citrus is unisex. I don't think there is a, maybe it had floral, lots and lots of florals in it. This is hedione based and the hedione in this is giving that sort of light, airy nature combined with sort of the uh, aquatic uh, quannel, which smells of sort of aquatic notes. If you want to create an aquatic fragrance, use the quannel. That's quite viscous. It's a weird color. I can't remember what color it is. It's like a weird color. And that gives that to it. Obviously, your linolastate, linolol, and ethyl linolastate. That is the light airiness. Little to no isu super in this, actually, which is quite nice. Really nice, clean musk to give it a robust backbone to it. Uh, galaxolide and hannibalide, that sort of stuff to give it that metallic finish to it. Ethylene bracelet, all that kind of stuff. You want a cleanness to this. This is complex, clever perfumery. This is someone who's very, very skilled. I'm disappointed they said about the woman, actually, because this to me just smells citrus, clean, fresh, ozonic. Now, the core is a mixture of the acetates. Acetates can give sparkle to a top note, but they can also give different feel to it. And uh, oh, I always shorthand everything. You have G-acetate and N-acetate. Oh, I can't remember. I shorthand everything because it's just the way that I work. So it's got G-acetate, N-acetate in it. But that core in the middle is a mixture of lots of things. But what you're smelling is something called methyl enanthrolate. And methyl enanthrolate, I've spoken about it before, is solid at 100% concentration at room temperature and you have to heat it up to work with it. And that smells of grapes. So that's used in a grape drinks. So if you buy something that's like a, a frizzy grape drink, that's methyl enanthrolate. And that mixed with orange crystals with all these sort of acetates is kind of what you're smelling here. It's got that clean it's so clean and harsh to it and that is the the grapefruit acetate as well so this is all that acetates working through sort of the middle with that sort of light airy nature going for the top the citruses you would pick with this are key in sort of what it is lemon orange mandarin patchouli to give that dark luscious nature to it these choice of raw materials with some clarity sage these sort of raw materials are so so important and when you're planning a perfume what i do is i work on sort of oh, like two oh, it's really really complex but you sort of you work on especially with citruses you get your core really strong and then you you develop your uh, citrus accord and this has got two things working simultaneously the citruses give it that feel and give it that mandarin and all that kind of lavender and clary sage, all that sort of stuff in here, patchouli. So this is like to give it, this is somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. Highly, highly skilled. Very nice, Ray, super, super radiant, super clean. I imagine this would be perfect for sort of holidays and sitting on the beach and kind of having, you know, sitting with your mates, having a drink. Definitely a holiday fragrance. I think this is awesome. On to my final thoughts. I love this and I'm, uh, to be honest with you, I'm really disappointed it says for women because I would absolutely wear this and I think this is a unisex. I think why they're saying that is the must choice and the benzyl salicylate and all that stuff is slightly softer. So it is giving that sort of slightly softer feel to it, I suppose. Long lasting, I've worn this, long lasting, light, airy, sweet, clean. 
it just smells exactly of that sort of Amalfi Coast, that picture that we looked at of that sort of the beautiful, I think there were this, the sea was this sort of colour. It was just sort of beautiful, oh, beautiful, happy, just gorgeous. This is what it smells of. This smells so happy and gorgeous. I think anyone could wear this. It is slightly, um, it's sophisticated. It's sophisticated perfumery. So maybe if you're sort of younger, you maybe won't gravitate to it. But I think if you've got a sophisticated palette, I think you would absolutely love this. I would definitely wear this. It is, for me, it was really long lasting. I was really surprised because the Tom Ford reviews I have done, underwhelming and sort of like overpriced and all the rest of it. And in this, how I'm judging the price is how long did it last? The raw material selection, this is complex perfumery. So this is someone who really knows their stuff. So I'm gonna ask the 10, because I love it. And I think it's gorgeous. And sometimes when you pick a fragrance and you love it and it's long lasting and you're in the sun, oh, all of that gorgeousness it just gets a 10. I wouldn't improve upon it. And there, as I keep saying, there is someone who's designed this perfume, who's so skilled with this, who's just so excellent at their job. And I, I love perfumery and I admire people who can do this. I love my job and I'm very privileged. And I think this is gorgeous. I absolutely recommend this. I recommend this as a unisex. I recommend it totally for the summer. It has a sophisticated sort of quality to it. So I think maybe if you like your, you know, your one millions and all that kind of stuff, you're not going to like this. But I think this is a great alternative for the summer if you've not smelt it. If you're going on holiday, this is a holiday fragrance. It's just beautiful. But actually, you could wear this as a signature fragrance as well. I love it. I just think it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful smell. So we love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands, lots of fragrance views. Hope staying safe and well. See you soon.